we had a very big few days. Besides the fact that the Royals are putting out more news than they ever have in like five years. We got like five years worth of news between Harry, the Duchess, and Prince George and Prince Charlotte. There's just so much. It's like overload. But first, I want to talk about some more local news. I know I'm always over in London on London time, even though I live in New York. Um, locally, we had the White House Correspondents' Dinner, which we all know is basically just a poor man's Met Gala, which we also had literally two nights later, we had the Met Gala, which is like not a poor man's anything. It's for the rich and then the richer. So that's how that one works. Um, I'll start with the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I truly have never wrapped my head fully around this event because we have because first we have all you know the DC people people who like truly work in politics they're the ones who are there every day you know heads down getting work done and I'm not talking about Obama um, and then we have like the news pundits we have Fox News meets CNN meets MSNBC and most of the time they're all pretending like they kind of are friendly but they're really not friendly some people even you know, get in real fights. I know Fox's Jesse Waters legitimately had a little bit of a scuffle. And then we have all these, like, celebrities, like, real celebrities that, like, Kendall Jenner was there. And I know Kim Kardashian's been there in the past, just, like, strange. And then we have fringe celebrities. And then we have the celebrities that are on shows about politics, like House of Cards, People, The West Wing. That's the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Then, two nights later, we have the Met Gala, which begins like, what is a new installation there of a fashion curation. And this year, it was kind of a technology meets fashion, which is a pretty cool concept because, obviously, that's kind of a big topic nowadays. Um, but all the celebrities they're supposed to dress on theme and you would think that they would pair with a designer who really could get it right but it's so strange to me how some of them just don't get the theme at all so um Sarah Jessica Parker always a standout on these carpet red carpet events especially at the Met Gala she dressed like um some sort of like medieval prince popper um with her pants so, no, it has literally nothing to do with any aspect of this theme. And then we had a lot of people addressing, like, Game of Thrones characters. It wasn't a medieval theme. It was technology. Um, a few people that definitely got it right that I really liked. Um, Alicia Vikander, who just won the um, Academy Award. I really liked her look. Taylor Swift was one of the hosts of the event. She looked pretty cool, kind of, like futuristic technology. Claire Danes was wearing a Zach Posen gown that actually lit up. It was glow in the dark, which at first you wouldn't know in the daylight. You just, it looks like a beautiful ball gown. And then it lights up, which I think is so ingenious. I loved that. Um, Marquesa did a similar uh, gown and they, I think, partnered with IBM and it had like light up elements to it. So I liked the stuff like that. I thought that was very creative and innovative. The Met Gala is a place where designers and models and actors and celebrities alike should really go over the top. There shouldn't be any kind of like censorship in your fashion, in your ways. It shouldn't be, it's not really, not, it shouldn't be the Oscars. You shouldn't be going for that same look, that same appeal. It should really be out there. You should be really flashy and conceptual and out of the box. So I commend the celebrities and the designers that were able to do that, some of which I just mentioned. Others, um, Try Better Next Year <laughs> wasn't medieval themed. I just, Sarah Jessica Parker with her popper pants. I mean, I know she's a style icon, and sometimes we conflate her with her Carrie Bradshaw alter ego, but it was not medieval themed. It was not popper themed. It was not sword in the stone status. Big big few days in fashion and culture, pop culture, and it was all done locally, you know? Didn't even have to go over the pond. 